We're gonna go ahead and grab one of these, Gorilla Tape, but it's okay. It's all right, it's still gonna look sharp. Right, guys, so this is how we're gonna customize our tank. So I got that, and it looks clean. My mind's telling me no. Aloha, this is your boy, Radamel, AKA the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, here with another video for you. Be a part of the Ohana. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Do me a favor, turn that notification bell on, okay? That's just gonna notify you when I put out a new video. Hook up with your boy on Instagram. Link will be down in the description below, at Hawaiian Fish Keeper. We are cruising around Home Depot. And I'm gonna show you guys a little tip and trick on how to customize your aquarium. So you notice we picked up that new aquarium um, on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And so I'm not really big on the color of it. So I'm gonna show you guys a real quick trick how to customize it. It's real simple. Um, and you'll be shocked on how great it's gonna look, okay? So let's go ahead and get the goods and uh, we'll get back to the house and uh, customize our tank. See you guys in a second. Here we go, paint department guys. The tape adhesive section. We're gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Gorilla tape, 1.88 inches wide. So it's almost about two inches wide and 12 yards. We don't need much of it. They do have bigger rolls if we need it, but for $5.20, this is the one we need. Let's go. I got the pump inside this tank. Remember this tank? This is the tank that I purchased on Facebook Marketplace. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link above. Check it out. You can see I got a steal on this 38 gallon tank. And see, we got the pump here. Pump's gonna pump the water out and it's gonna pump it out into the grass. See the grass right there? Cause we do not waste any water here. And then on top of that, I do have my bottle of thieves. You see this bottle of thieves right here? Yes, thieves, cap full. You make a bottle, 16 ounces. We're gonna spray the whole inside of this tank. Actually, we can spray it right now as I speak. This is gonna get rid of all the water stains. Check it out. We're gonna let it sit for a while and then we're gonna use our sponge and we're gonna scrub it all out, okay? and it's gonna make it crystal clear. Now this tank was used, and it did have some minor scratches on it, but it's okay. It's all right, it's still gonna look sharp after we're done with it, and I'm all about buying used tanks. It's been filled with water for some time now, no leaks, so we're good to go, so let's get into it. This is the Wonder Tonic for aquariums, guys, I'm telling you. I'll leave links down in the description below about Thieves on where to get it. I'm telling you, this bottle here, it's a concentrate, one cap full of this per 16 ounces of water. You get over 30 of these full. It's so worth it. It's like, I don't know, a dollar a bottle when you break it down. We'll start scrubbing it with this sponge and uh, get it all nice and clean. All right, guys, I'll see you in a second. We got this aquarium like at a tilt. So it's kind of tilting downhill this way. And we're just gonna shoot the inside of it. As you can see, it's looking crystal clear. Real simple cleaning. You know, aquarium cleaning 101, nothing uh, too different or out of the ordinary. So because Thieves is 100% all natural and it's an all purpose cleaner, let's go ahead and spray the top of this stand and get it all cleaned up. See, that's the cool thing about Thieves. Like I said, all purpose cleaner, we're gonna go ahead and clean these glass shelves spray it on wipe it off and get these things crystal clear like i said all-purpose cleaner we can clean the glass the outside of the aquarium the aquarium's over there drying off look at how beautiful that thing looks all right we are done cleaning this this bad boy all right guys so this is how we're going to customize our tank so i got that black gorilla tape right and what we're going to do is we're going to edge this brown seam so it doesn't show because i'm not a big fan of the brown on this tank now i'm okay with the brown let me show you on the stand you know the stand it doesn't bug me but it's something about the brown trim on this tank i just want it all black so this is a great alternative um it's not a, a shiny it's kind of like a almost vinyl almost like it matches the lid so it's not going to look too tacky and gaudy but we're going to keep it one piece and just go around the brim and then we have some scissors and a blade to make a nice clean cut so it's going to customize this bottom piece here and this top piece here all right just so you guys know so i'm going to go ahead and lay it down here 
and then uh, we'll see what it looks like at the end. So if you haven't worked with go Gorilla Tape, it is extremely sticky, okay? Um, not to where it's messy sticky, but once you put it on, it's gonna stay on there for a while. So the reason why I use Gorilla Tape is because um, if water gets on it, it's not gonna just peel off, you know, like some other tapes will. So what we're gonna do, like I said, is we're just gonna line this up. So then we'll grab this excess piece here and just wrap it around the back side. And then now we'll just cut everything down with a blade and trim it up and make it look nice. The trick on doing this is doing it in one single wrap. You know what I mean? Which you can. So there's no creases, there's no break in the tape. You know what I mean? It's one seamless all the way around. One seamless wrap. So now you do is we just take a blade and trim this off. See the extra, the excess here? And uh, we'll make it nice and custom and then we'll do the exact same thing to the bottom and it'll be good to go. When trimming this off, I would suggest getting a new blade. So something really sharp. So it just kind of has a nice trim to it, like flawless. And you just run this X-Acto blade right down the top and it gives it a nice seamless cut. You see that? So it's almost like a customized cut. Now this thing is like a perfect fit, a perfect wrap, and it doesn't look bad, guys. It really doesn't. It looks nice, actually. Got it here in the front. So we're just gonna go ahead, like I said, with the blade, just run it right down the top. See that? And you just kinda hold it with the other hand and just let that blade just run flat with the top of the aquarium. So you have a nice straight line and it cuts the excess or the extra tape from the top. And then it's like you gotta customize all black rimmed tank. Now you can actually see, see that? nice clean lines all the way around the tank and yeah I'm super super excited the way it turned out look at that easy cover you don't have to worry about the messy paint um, especially if you want to spray paint this so remember gorilla tape guys black they have different colors don't get the gray or the white but now we're gonna do this bottom here and obviously we're not gonna do the back of the tank you know this is the back of the tank so I'm not concerned about that so let's get to the bottom piece all right guys so here it is it is done the bottom half is done the top half is done and it looks clean look at that nice clean lines top bottom looks great now let's get this tank in the house now if you guys don't have one of these i believe you should get one this actually should be in the aquarium hobby a must get it makes moving tanks around the house so much easier um i believe it's a furniture dolly and you can get these at home depot for about maybe 15 to 20 bucks or you can probably just make this thing you know this is what i use to move my 120 around by myself and uh, it's like having another person with you so we're just going to lift this put it on that and wheel it in the house and there we go and next thing you do we just push and it just slides on the floor so we can just wheel this right into the house without having to hurt our back because you know as we get older we don't work harder we work smarter we got the tank and the stand moved in the little guy's room my two little boys Makayo and Kona boy uh, here we go we got the 38 gallon in here we do have some leftover substrate about 40 pounds worth that's already pre-washed of pool filter sand this came from uh, the scape that I did uh, out front the 120 so we're gonna put this substrate on the bottom here and uh yeah we get to scape a little bit add some water put a filter on this we'll probably put one of the aquions on here maybe the 70 you know give it a little extra uh filtration and uh let's get to it All right, guys, rookie move, man, I know. So as I dumped that substrate inside the tank, I just realized 
I don't have a background and I need a background on that tank. Well, I guess a rookie move would be if I filled it up and everything and then I didn't put the background on, right? Anyways, still a rookie move. We're gonna do something really fast, really simple. I'm not gonna paint it because I wanna get this tank up and running. Normally I would spray paint or something like that, but we're not gonna do that. What we're going to do is we're gonna run over to PetSmart and we're gonna get like that background that you buy by the foot. Something simple, something easy to apply with some scotch tape. That way if I ever wanna change the background, I can just take that off. But as I dump that sand substrate, inside the tank I got inspired so the aquascaping juices were flowing and um, it inspired me to make a mound and then my mind started running with aquascaping because I didn't really think about what I was gonna do to aquascape this thing so part two guys I'm sorry to do this to you but part two we're gonna aquascape the tank we're gonna get the water filled add fish filter going everything on the next video I won't let you down trust me man I'm sorry I just have a, I gotta pick up some things my mind is running right now you know my mind's telling me no, but my aquarium is telling me yes, baby. Sorry, that's a little bit of Kells, man. I don't even know if I should even talk about Kells right now. He's kind of in trouble, isn't he? Anyways, happy fish, happy life. Stay tuned, guys. Much love and aloha. I won't let you down. <laughs> Fake a pay, Moko, how are you hooky, Ella, in my